So as we know, the current casting for a lot of the new James Gunn DCU universe movies have been taking place. We know that Superman Legacy has had nearly every famous actor and their dad be pretty much cast in this movie. Like, I mean, literally everyone. Like, the guy, the guy from Modern Family, shit, what's his name? I don't remember why, but he played the weatherman in that show. And for some reason, that's why I know him from. Don't, don't ask me why. But anyway, a ton of other really awesome actors. The chick who played Dora the Explorer, who can explore me if she wants, um, has been cast. The, the the Nicholas Holt guy, the guy who played the little the little boy in about a boy who hung out with Hugh Grant all day every day because his mom wanted to die. That's a really weird plot to a movie when you say it out loud. But um, shout out Nicholas Holt. Um, anyway, what I'm trying to say is here, a lot of casting has been getting done for James Gunn's DCU. The 2025 project of Superman Legacy has, I think, been pretty much all sorted out. The 2024, again, series Waller, I believe, has pretty much been sorted out. Same with Creatures Commandos, which I believe will also come out in 2024. Now it looks like we're getting on to the future projects, and I think 2026 will be the year we probably see the brave and the bold which is the batman movie and maybe something else and there's been a ton of rumors about who is going to play the batman in this in this movie again one has been jensen eccles who i don't really again know a whole lot about i'm more unfamiliar with his work compared to like nicholas holt and obviously the great the great she obviously can't be that great because I've also forgotten her name. Viola Davis. I don't know why. I couldn't remember that, but fuck me in the ass. I, I probably shouldn't say that on camera. That's, um, someone will probably come and fuck me in the ass. Hopefully my uncle is not watching this video. Anyway, a little bit more unfamiliar with Jensen Eccles' work. Again, I know he's in The Boys, which you guys have been telling me to watch. I need to watch that, but I usually don't watch Boys on TV. I, um... It's probably not a joke appropriate for YouTube, but hey, I don't make Minecraft videos, so you can be sure that that was just a joke. There is Minecraft videos on my channel, though. I don't make Minecraft videos anymore, so... <laughs> anyway, where I'm going with this is, the Brave and the Bold's been looking for, it's Batman. James Gunn has been looking for the guy who is going to be playing Batman. And there's been a lot of rumors. Jensen Eccles has been out there. The guy who I thought would be pretty cool, but I don't think will happen, is Jake Gyllenhaal, one of my all-time favorite actors. If you haven't seen him in Prisoners, Nightcrawler, Brothers, go and watch all three of those movies. Those are three of the greatest movies you will see. He just looks like the guy who, if they wanted a more psychotic, on-edge Batman, he could definitely go and play. But it doesn't look like they're going that way again. We've already got Robert Pattinson, who is the the emo emo Batman, who could potentially end up pretty crazy. He's been relatively crazy in his film. We did have again Ben Affleck as Batman, who was an older Batman who branded people and was fucking out of his mind. Then we had, and he was also older. Then we had Christian Bale, who was kind of the the prime Batman, who was relatively calm right you know a pretty pretty standard batman i have a feeling with this batman they're gonna want to take like all of these inspirations other than maybe the emo side and combine them all into one and that's why i think this guy could actually be a good opportunity and that's actually alan richson who has been reported that he could be the new batman he was actually pretty much asked about it where he did say he would of course obviously want to do it in an article here by um, Cave Comic, the, the goats, obviously, it does say that Alan Richardson, or Richardson, I should say, sorry, wants to play Batman in James Gunn's new DCU. Reacher star Alan Richardson wants to play Batman in James Gunn's DCU. He says, with all the rumors flying that I'm supposed to be playing Batman, how can I knock Batman? I would love to play Batman. Again, if you haven't seen this guy, he's fucking huge. Like... I'm, again, I'm, I believe, 173 centimeters, which is 5'7.5", 5'8", right? 
I'm 98 kilos at the time of making this video. I am was 113, so you know we've made some progress. 15 down last year, we're going to lose another 15 this year. You know, I'm pretty much sucking my own dick here, but shout out me. This Alan Richardson dude, right? I'm pretty sure he's like 6 foot 2, if not tall, like 6'3". He's like fucking 290 pounds, it looks like. He's probably not that big, but this dude's looking like 110 to 115 kilos of like pure, pure muscle. He's also a different take, I would say, because he's also blonde. I mean, it'd be interesting to have a blonde Batman. People are saying, oh, he can dye his hair brown or black. Again, I think Pattinson's is brown, obviously. Bale's was brown. Affleck's was blacky gray. Again, comics, I think he's usually got black hair. Um, so again, we've had black, we've had brown, we've even had gray. We could have a blonde Batman here, which would be pretty interesting as well. He's not too old. I believe he's like late 30s, early 40s. And again, I haven't really seen a whole lot of Reacher. I really do need to watch it because it looks pretty sick. But he looks like an absolute badass in that. He actually played Raphael in the Ninja Turtle movies with Megan Fox. So this dude also has Megan Fox training, so he absolutely knows how to talk to baddies. Again, I've seen those movies. I can tell you his motion capturing work in that is pretty goddamn good. Unfortunately, there was no sex scene with him and Megan Fox, so very unfortunate. Um, but yeah, this guy looks like a guy I could see playing Batman. This would be more of an Arkham type style where he's a really tall, fucking huge Batman. I think Bale was like six foot. I think Keaton was like 5'9", um, Pattinson's like 6'1", I think, and then of course Affleck was like 6'2". This guy looks the tallest of them all, I think. He also looks the hugest of them all, considering as well that Superman, I believe the actor David Corrinsweat, is 6'4". Having a guy be that tall next to him would just be like scary as, like unlucky to whoever's probably going to be cast as the Joker. I think maybe Willem Dafoe. Again, if they ever do Willem Dafoe, who's like, I think, 5'9". Phil Willem Dafoe is just going to be looking up at these two motherfuckers standing this tall. Holy shit, that'd be a, uh, yeah. Fuck being the Joker in this universe. But anyway, this could definitely be a direction that they look at going with. I think James Gunn could consider it. Having like a blonde Batman who's tall and fucking huge would definitely differentiate him, not only from Robert Pattinson's Batman, but Christian Bale's, the rumored Jake Gyllenhaal's, Ben Affleck's, all of this, right? So this could definitely be a way they go. Any actually wants to play Batman. For some reason, we have too many actors these days who are playing characters they don't want to play. Again, I'm not too sure where the story's gonna go with this. My dog is just snoring in the background. She is touching my audio without consent. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. At least it's not the thunder this time because the thunder was cooking me last time and I think people thought I was shitting myself on camera. Anyway, yeah. I might make a different video talking about what I think the story of the Brave and the Bold will be. Ragalu, Ragalu, whatever the fuck you say his name could be the villain. I also think, you know, a Heart of Ice story with Mr. Freeze could be a really awesome story. They don't look like they're doing that with the Batman part two. It looks like they're going with Hush and Clayface. So it'll be interesting to see. Definitely let me know all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. I'd very much like to know. Subscribe to this channel, my sports channel, and my IRL slash long channels. Links for them will be in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.